The Titans were the oldest gods in Greek mythology. They were the children of Uranus, the sky, and Gaia, the earth. They preceded the Olympian gods. They were not revered as the other deities, but by contrast, they helped clarify the position of the Olympians in the world of mythology. The main source from which we learn about the existence of the primordial gods is the work of Hesiod, Theogony. According to it, in the beginning, there was chaos. The first forces to emerge from chaos were the Abyss, the Earth, also known as Gaia, and Love, known as Eros. From chaos also sprang the night, day, and darkness, also known as Erebus. From Gaia appeared Uranus, which represented the sky, the nymphs, and Pontus, who represented the sea. The union between Earth and sky created the Cyclops, the Twelve Titans, and three Hecatuches. These, the last, were giants with 100 arms. In the first generation of Titans, there were only 12. The male Titans were Oceanus, Hyperion, Coeus, Cronus, Creus, and Iapetus. The female Titans were Nemosin, Tethys, Theia, Phoebe, Rhea, and Themis. The second generation consisted of the children of Hyperion, Aos, Helios, and Selene. The daughters of Coeus, Leto and Asteria, the sons of Iapetus, Atlas, Prometheus, Epimetheus and Menoetius, the daughter of Oceanus, Metis, and the sons of Creus, Astraeus, Pallas, and Perses. The first generation of Titans was also known as the Elder Gods. Their leader was Cronus. After locking the Cyclops and Hecatuches in Tartarus, Cronus led the Titans in a revolt against their father, an act entirely encouraged by their mother Gaia. She gave Cronus a diamond sickle to castrate Uranus. According to some myths, the throwing of the genitals of Uranus into the waters of the sea, led to the birth of the goddess Aphrodite, and from the gushing blood, appeared the Furies, the Giants, and the Meliads, which were the nymphs of the ash tree. Cronus took the place of his father as king of the gods, with Rhea as wife and queen. Rhea gives birth to a new generation of gods, the sons of Cronus. Gaia and Uranus predicted to Cronus that he will be dethroned by one of his own children. To prevent this from happening, he swallowed all his children as they were born, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon. Only Zeus, who had been sent by his mother Rhea to a cave in Crete, escaped this fate. To fool Cronus, Rhea let him swallow a stone wrapped in baby clothes, which he didn't check. Zeus would take revenge on his father, and later have him release all his brothers, forcing him to swallow a potion invented by his grandmother, Gaia. Cronus vomited the stone, and then, one by one, in the reverse order of their birth, all the children he swallowed. Together with his brothers and sisters who came back to life, Zeus started his most important war, named Titanomachy, the battle against the Titans who ruled the destinies of the world. The mythical battle took place according to tradition, in Thessaly. The Titans being on Mount Othrys, and the Olympians on Mount Olympus. The battle is known as the War of the Titans. It is said that the battle between the Titans and the Olympians, for gaining control over the skies, lasted ten years. Gaia promised victory to Zeus, with the condition of freeing the Cyclops who were still imprisoned in Tartarus. Zeus accepted, and the Cyclops rewarded him by giving him the thunder and lightning, which would become his constant attributes. The Olympians benefited from the help of the Cyclops, but also the help of the Hecantunches and Giants, who had also been released. With this extra help, the balance tilted in favor of the Olympians when the Hecatuches began throwing huge boulders at the Titans. Some of the Titans were locked in a great abyss in the darkest and deepest part of Tartarus. With massive gates made by Poseidon, with the three Hecatuches as guards, the Titans could no longer threaten the order established by the Olympian gods. Zeus assumed the role of leader of the new pantheon. The Titans who had not fought the Olympians, Nemosin, Gaia, Rhea, Hyperion, Themis, and Metis, played important roles in the new order. Some of them became consorts of Zeus, and received a place on Mount Olympus, as mothers of the gods. 
the Titans left behind several more children, the most important being the sons of Iapetus. Some of them revolted and received severe punishments. For example, Atlas was condemned to carry the sky on his shoulders. Prometheus was chained by a stone and an eagle was let to feed on his liver every day. This was the story of the Titans and the war lost to the gods of Olympus. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Mythos, the Historian. And if you really did enjoy it, please like the video. And if you look forward to new videos on my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when new videos arrive.